Fire up, Linmar. This is a special homecoming edition of LMTV News. Linmar, your news starts now. Good morning, Linmar. It's Tuesday, October 1st, 2013. Here's a look at the stories making news on your Linmar campus. Our top story, it's time to announce the winners of the National Honor Society parking spot raffle. Today for the freshman files, Lance and Tim have that story. Guys? This, this is, is pretty, pretty cool. Even though most freshmen can't drive, we get to announce the winners of the NHS parking space raffle. And the winners are? Drum roll, please. Jake Dival and Sean Connor. Congratulations, guys. See Miss Sullivan to claim your prizes. Thanks to everyone who entered. Jessica, back to you. Thanks, guys. Time for a quick update of Homecoming 2013. The parade starts at 5.15 Thursday. The north and east, east parking lot will be closed Thursday after school for the parade. Any cars parked in the wrong place will be ticketed. The coronation and the Powderpuff game will follow the parade. The Powderpuff game and student council sponsored bake sales Wednesday and Thursday before school in the Four Corners. This will help raise money for the Green Square Meals. It's a program that provides hot meals to anyone in need. Please help feed the hungry in our community. The homecoming dance is Saturday from 8 to 11 in the main gym. It's $15 per, per couple or 10 for single. You must bring your ID. The photographer will be there starting at 5 p.m. Remember, there will not be a purse check for this dance. Follow at Linmar Homecoming on Twitter for the latest homecoming updates. We'll be back with more LMTV News right after this. This is a can. A can is a cylindrical container. Most cans contain a substance called food. Food is something that humans eat. Unfortunately, some humans don't have cans, and therefore, they don't have access to food. This is where you come in. National Honor Society is collecting cans during homecoming week in the Four Corners, during the homecoming parade, during the powder puff game, and during the homecoming game. So, if you've got cans, and if you've got time, donate today. Welcome back. If you have health class third block, listen up. You are to eat D lunch today. Go to the health classroom at 11.50, the, bidding, the beginning of the third block, block three. You will eat after the speaker. That's third block health classes today only. Now, Sydney joins us with sports. Sydney? On the scoreboard, varsity boys golf came in third out of seven teams at the MVC dish, divisional meet. And from over the weekend, congratulations, cross country. The girls came in first out of 15 teams, and the guys came in second out of 16 teams in the ACC Charger Classic in Aurora, Illinois. Today in Linmar Sports, JV Boys Golf will meet Washington at Gardner Golf Course at 3.15. Team dismissed at 2 p.m. JV Sophomore and Varsity Volleyball will host Dubuque Wallard. JV and Varsity Girls Swimming will host Iowa City High at 6 p.m. Ninth grade football red team will play at Dubuque Hempstead. Team dismissed at 3 p.m. Ninth grade football black team will host Waterloo East at 7 p.m. In other sports news, softball open field nights will be held on Mondays from 4.30 to 6 p.m. at the new softball baseball complex. That's sports. Jessica, back to you. Thanks. And news from the counselors. The Army will be here today during lunch. Wartburg stops by tomorrow at 9.30 in the counseling office. Congratulations to Joel Georgeston, Christopher Drew, Tyler Wills, Eric Sommerfeld, Ricky Hubler, Kay Irish, and Eric Losby for joining the Linmar Counseling Facebook group and earning some Linmar prizes. Stop by Mrs. Carrera's room in the counseling office this week to pick up your prize. If you haven't yet joined the Facebook group yet, it's not too late. Join today and receive important information from the counseling office in your news feed on, on a regular basis. For more about upcoming college visits and other opportunities, stop by the counseling office or check out their website. Now Becky joins us with arts and clubs. Becky? Thanks, Jessica. There will be a thespian meeting tomorrow at school to discuss the Linmar homecoming float. Anyone intending to be in the parade must be at this meeting. Art club and FFA members wanting to ride the FFA slash art club float during the homecoming parade should meet at door four on Thursday. Please wear an FFA t-shirt or school colors. See Mrs. Lemmer or Ms. White for more details. FFA members planning to attend the National FFA Convention must turn in their application to Ms. Lemmer and turn in their money to Mrs. Dayton by Friday. All National Honor Society members will meet Friday at 7.45. Also, 
please be sure to pay your membership fee by Friday to Mrs. Dayton in the cashier's office. Anyone wanting to join Key Club, please turn in your membership forms and dues by October 15th. Extra forms are in the library. And juniors, today is the deadline for turning in applications for prom committee. Questions? See Mrs. Crandall in room L117. That's your club update. Jessica, back to you. Thanks, Becky. Don't forget, tomorrow is Decade Day as Spirit Week continues. A group photo of everyone who dressed up for that day will be taken at 8.15 in the Four Corners. Hey, Sydney, what's for lunch? It's chicken strips with mashed potatoes and gravy, a dinner roll, and an apple. On the other line, it's a hamburger bar. In the food court, it's chicken strips and baked fries. Jessica, back to you. Thanks. Your LMTP forecast calls for sunny skies in 82 today. Tomorrow will be mostly sunny in 82. And Thursday, there's a chance of showers and storms with, that, with a high of 81. That wraps up today's edition of LMTV News. Remember, LMTV is, LMTV is always available online. Just follow the high school website or follow us on Twitter. For the entire cast and crew, thanks for watching. Join us again tomorrow. Glimmer, make it a great day.